Hi there, Bears fans. We've known who and where the Bears are going to play in 2022. Now we know when. I'm Jeff Joniak, voice of the Chicago Bears, my broadcast partner from News Radio 105.9 WBBM, the great Tom Thayer, the starting guard for the Super Bowl 85 Bears. He's in Maui. I'm outside in the western suburbs of Chicago enjoying some 85-degree weather, Tom. I know the sun's just coming up there, but from what you can tell, are you excited about the schedule? I am, Jeff. You know, and uh, in anticipation for the schedule being announced, you kind of had to look at your opponents and the different factors in each of them. There's a lot of new coaches in the NFL. There's uncertainty at a lot of quarterback positions of the Bears' opponents. And I think that really throws a, a wrench in this whole operation because when you look at the first few opponents, new offensive coordinator in Green Bay, new head coach with the Texans, Giants, and Minnesota, and then you look at the quality of quarterbacks. There's nine first year or question mark quarterbacks. And then you got five quality quarterbacks. So when you look at those components to the Bears season, I, I am excited about it. Tommy, we're brought to you by Bears VIP, the official VIP fan packages partner. This is uh, an outstanding time for Bears fans and football fans everywhere. The NFL knows how to do it, man. They pulled the trigger and now we have the schedule. Uh, let's start with San Francisco in the home opener on September 11th, Tom. And then, as you said, at Green Bay, a Sunday night, one of three primetime games for the Bears before Lovey Smith's Houston Texans coming to town. That'll be the month of September. You've alluded to it a little bit. You got Trey Lance in San Francisco, the assumed new starting quarterback there until further notice with Jimmy Garoppolo. And of course, the other great Aaron Rodgers in his own stadium. And again, a, a primetime game. And that has been off and since uh, 2005, at least one primetime game every season and now 14 times at Lambeau Field in primetime. I'm glad to have them early because when you look at the transition that Green Bay is going through, there's still going to be some question marks there. New offensive coordinator, how does Aaron Rodgers transition even though he's familiar with Tom Clements? They have some rookie defensive players that maybe the Bears can take advantage of on the offensive side of the ball. Backing up to the San Francisco 49ers, still uncertainty at the quarterback position. And then you think of a new head coach in Lovey Smith and their uncertainty at the quarterback position along with the Giants. I mean, Jeff, there is so much unpredictability about the teams the Bears are going to play because both the coaches and the quarterbacks are instrumental in their success. Then you hit the road for four weeks out of five. This is a tough stretch. All in the month of October, to me, it's the most difficult part of the schedule, Tommy. You go to East Rutherford to take on the Giants. Uh, again, a new coach, new system, new GM. At Minnesota, new coach, new GM, new system. A primetime game on a Thursday night against Ron Rivera's Washington Commanders at 7:15, And then at New England, 11 days uh, apart from the Washington game, Monday Night Football, and then at Dallas the day before Halloween. That's quite the stretch. Basically, you'll be on the road for the whole time. You know, Jeff, I always used to whine about games that are going to be extremely hot at the beginning of the year, and I'm not worried about that. This New England-Dallas back-to-back traveling to two of those impactful stadiums and support groups and good teams, that is my little, my biggest concern in the schedule, those back-to-back -back travel games. You know, strength of schedule is always on what last season's opponent's records were. And so the Bears have one of the so-called easiest schedules based on that. But I pay no attention to that at all. Everybody's trying to get better. Teams are getting better. Teams are getting worse. And I always begin who the quarterbacks are you're facing. And then if there's an elite pass rusher on the other side that's ready to kill your quarterback. And so with Washington, I look at Chase Young. Got to figure out a way to stop Chase Young. Then you go with Miami and Detroit at home coming out of that month of October and November. And then in, at Atlanta, at New York Jet, November 20th and November 27th. So that stretch of games, you're going to deal with a whole bunch of different types of quarterbacks, some veterans, but none of those guys are yet to be proven. They've got a lot of work to do. So these are opportunities for the Bears. You're exactly right. You know, you got Jared Goff. He's been in the league for quite a while, so he's got longevity respect. But when you look at the quarterback position of the rest of these teams, they have big question marks. Uh, either, you know, veterans going to Atlanta or guys in their second year with the Jets, the Miami situation with a new coach. It's, you know, when you talk about the strength of schedule, there's so much uncertainty in this year's schedule that you really, it's so unpredictable. 
All right, time of year in the month of December. Uh, now it gets interesting. Home against Green Bay, against uh, Aaron Rodgers and the boys. I'm assuming the Bears at this point, much more comfortable in their schemes, getting ready for the stretch run, whatever their record may be. This is about growth anyway. And so do you expect a better Bears team down this stretch with Green Bay? And then the bye week on December 11th, latest bye week I remember, uh, 13 games before the bye week. You know, if they can hit the bye week with a little momentum, Jeff, I think it's a great opportunity to kind of not necessarily reboot, but go over or look some of the elements of your season that you want to finish strong with. Because when you look at Philly, Buffalo, and then perfect playing conditions in Detroit, and then in Minnesota at home, you, the weather's going to be uncertain. But I've never seen a bye week this late in the season, especially for a team with a new coaching staff. It would have probably been more beneficial at the beginning of the schedule. But hey, you have to go with what they're offering you and you got to use the time wisely. The most interesting game maybe of the whole season uh, outside of that opener against San Francisco quality team is seeing Josh Allen in Buffalo, a Super Bowl contender coming in on Christmas Eve on a Saturday at Soldier Field. How do you feel about that? Well, he's one of the most uh, bright, young, developing, big, strong, fast, you know, a smart quarterback in the NFL. And I'm interested to see where Justin is at that point in the season. Justin Fields going against a guy like Josh Allen. I think if you get a nice support of the Bears fans at that point in the season, it could be a, a great battle at that point. We're not going to Minnesota again for the end of the season. They're coming to Chicago, so that's a switch because uh, that has been the case so many times, so many years, and those games sometimes don't mean a whole heck of a lot. Let's hope the finale at Soldier Field before a packed house means a lot uh, for the Bears when they uh, wrap things up against Minnesota. It's, it's We're always there in December or January, Tommy. Right. You kind of look forward to that one game of indoor football, but this year it's going to have to be Detroit uh, second to last week of the season and then bring Minnesota out of the hibernation and bring them into a cold outside surface to see how they play uh, at that point in the year. So that'll do it. The 2022 schedule release. I hope you'll enjoy the season. We'll see you out at Soldier Field. And at a minimum time, we will talk to you on the radio. Enjoy the surf today, my friend. <laughs> Thank you. All right, that's going to do it for us. Thanks again to our sponsor. We're brought to you by Bears VIP, the official VIP fan packages partner for the Chicago Bears. And we want to see you on the road this year as well. You guys always turn out in big form. A lot of you are regulars. We love seeing you at the Team Hotel and over at the stadiums that we go to. Appreciate the fan support. For Tom Thayer, I'm Jeff Joniak. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bear down.